Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to connect a PS4 controller to your PC in 2023 completely, a wirelessly no cable needed. So now let's jump with the video. So for this tutorial, there's only two things you need. First, your controller and then your computer. So you can use any laptop or PC you want. After that, you can open up any browser you want. And then you're just going to type in DS4 Windows. And you're going to click on enter. After that, you're going to click on the first link. After that, you're going to tap on the blue download button. If you get add, just hit cross. After that, you're going to bar to this page. That's not this is the best software where you can download to connect your PS4 controller. And then also, if you see the last update, is going to be on June 7. After that, you're going to click on download. And then you're going to see it's going to start downloading. The rest for the file is going to be really small. After that, you're going to uh, click on the arrow and click on show in folder. After that, you're going to right click on it and then you're going to click on open with. And you're going to click on a after that you're gonna click on winner or seven zip depending on uh, which one do you use and after that you're gonna click on wizard and, and you're gonna click on finish so with this it actually can extract your file after that you can close all the other stuff after that is done now you're gonna double click on it and you're gonna click on ds4 for, for windows after that you're gonna get this problem right here so this is the problem you're gonna face if you are running windows 11 after that you're gonna click on yes and this is going to open up a browser uh, after that it's going to open up this and so after you click on it it actually going to start automatically now you're going to open it up after that you're going to hit install click on yes and after that it's going to start installing it just like that and after that uh, and i can uh, close it back and now we're going to click on ds4 for windows again yeah and and this time it actually going to work after this open and now you can open up your bluetooth setting after that you can tap on add device, after that you can tap on bluetooth and now on the controller you can hold the shell and the ps button at the same time so just hold it for like a few seconds and then after that you're gonna see it's gonna start free flashing uh, just like this and after that you see a wireless controller uh, pop up right here after that you're gonna tap on the wireless controller after that you're gonna tap on close after that you're gonna just close it that on ds4 you're gonna see it's gonna be connected if you don't see it just hit stop and then click on set again you just hit start and after that you're gonna see it's gonna be connected okay okay so okay so that is uh, so that is done if you just hold the ps button you're gonna see it actually work and then also you can actually use the trackpad as a, a mouse thing is there's a more thing you can do with this app for the first thing you're gonna see is the, how this is connected so this is connected via uh, bluetooth so that's what the, the cable and then uh, after that you're gonna see the battery life so for me it's like a 12 percent so the, that's why the battery life is pretty low after that if you go all the way right and now there's a color so just click on it and click on use custom color and after that you're gonna get this menu right here so so with this menu you can change to any color you want it really doesn't matter so for example if we just want to do this a blue right here i just go to that blue also if we just want to do like a pink i'll just go to pink that's purple i'll just go to pink and you're gonna see it's gonna be pink and after that you're just gonna hit close and for the next thing that's actually pretty important is the profile right here so just click on profile and click on new and if you get this just click on no with this you can actually customize every button from your keyboard to your controller so that means you can map any key from your keyboard uh, uh, to here for example if we just want to do uh, this uh, share button right here just click on it and click on which one i need to do so i'll just do escape and after that it's going to change to that uh, and for the name you can just name it anything you want so i'll just name it ps4 22 and after that you're just going to save after that, it's going to go back to the thing. So after that, you're going to click on select a profile. Now you're going to click on PS4 22. That's it. So now I'll just open up a game to, sh to show you guys how this is work. Look at this. So the controller is actually connected. If you just uh, press on button, you're going to see the controller actually work. Uh, look how cool this is. This controller is working. There's no problem or, or anything. Okay, so that's it for this quick video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and don't forget to click that subscribe button. And always ask subscribe later and peace out.